Colorado Democrats. They took a big swing at overhauling how the state handles polluters. They landed a glancing blow. To escape a veto from Governor Polis, lawmakers are abandoning their original enforcement heavy take action approach in favor of strong suggestions and more conversation. Denver 7's Megan Lopez has that story. We'll be advancing critical land conservation and remember that roadmap on reducing greenhouse gas emissions Governor Polis unveiled earlier this year. On Earth Day, we told you about an effort to give that roadmap some regulatory teeth with Senate Bill 200. Only Governor Polis didn't like that plan and threatened to veto it. After days of discussions with fellow Democrats. What we have before us today is a consensus bill of what will move us forward. The new plan kills Senate Bill 200 and put parts of it into House Bill 1266, which deals with environmental equity. The new bill will add emissions enforcement to the electric industry and oil and gas sectors. Transportation and building industries, some of the biggest polluters, would be left out. We're teething, <laughs> right? We're, we're getting there. These, these are significant steps forward. I mean, we're getting those molars, but we're not getting all the teeth in this in this bill. Environmental groups aren't happy with all of the compromises or the governor's threat of a veto. You can't have a roadmap if you're unwilling to pave the road. And uh, but, you know, some of the road is paved on this with enforceability and accountability. And so we're, we're willing to go with something right now instead of not getting anything at all. Business groups, meanwhile, are skeptical about whether this will actually reduce emissions. It focuses narrowly on specific industries, uh, sets goals and targets, uh, doesn't allow the flexibility in achieving those targets, and then doesn't address overall emissions. Gives it a 10 point increase. While Republicans say all these changes come far too late in the session. They're not allowing us to have any input whatsoever on these bills. And quite frankly, they really don't care what we have to say. And they say this is still a cap and trade bill, even if it's not in statute. As for the co-sponsors who wanted more. The, the Democrats have the trifecta. They have the House, they have the Senate, they have the governor's mansion. If you couldn't get something more substantial passed this time, is there any confidence in, in, in next year? We will continue to move forward. And I'm not going to stop fighting for the climate. And I'm not going to stop fighting for my constituents. So the changes to House Bill 1266 that combine those two bills, they passed committee today. Uh, Senate Bill 200 is likely to die on the floor either tonight or tomorrow. Guys. All right. So Megan, compromise will be the name of the game over the next two days. And lawmakers have a lot they want to get done and really short time left to do it. Yeah, that's right. And constitutionally, they have to wrap up by midnight on June 12th. That comes after a Colorado Supreme Court decision last year that ruled that during a declared emergency, they could take the 120 days for their legislative session unconsecutively, which is why we're going on so late in the summer or spring. Really, lawmakers want to get out of here earlier than that, though. They tell me they're trying to wrap up their work by either tomorrow or Wednesday. Some of them have crops to plant. They need to get back to their fields. Others just don't want to be in the Capitol right now because guys, it does not have air conditioning. Nevertheless, there are still a lot of big bills left 62 as of this morning, including big ones like police reform, criminal justice reform, tax bills, and that sex offender management board sunset that we've been talking about. We've already seen compromises on many of those bills. Now we're going to have to wait to see if they actually can get them past the finish line over the next couple of days. We have seen over the past week some really late nights at the Colorado legislature, and you can anticipate to see a couple more as they try to wrap up those bills guys. Yeah, time is running out. All right, Megan, thank you so much.